All right, gang, we're going to use uh, stinging nettle to make cordage today. It's um, it's a nice day, a little bit windy, so I couldn't get out in the water and go fishing. Anyway, um, these are the stinging nettle just on the side of the road here. And uh, stinging nettle has the strongest plant fiber known, or one of the strongest anyway. It's the, uh, it's the little tiny white fibers that are inside the actual stinging nettle itself. And... Uh, but I wound up using some of the uh, cord some of the um, the stock as cordage as well, not quite as strong, but in all intents and purposes, it was fine. You can do this on your knee, and if you're careful, you won't get stung at all. I'm using gloves. You should always have some packed in your emergency pack or your outdoor kit. Um, it just takes off the leaves. If you're in the forest as well uh, and you're starving, of course, the stinging nettle leaves. Um, are a great source of food. It's uh, you have to boil it, steam it, mash it around, dry it out um, to get rid of the sting. But it's the same kind of food value as a uh, as spinach. And to tell you the truth, my kids don't even know the difference if we're using spinach or stinging nettle. Um, anyway, so that just tells you. Anyway, um, let's get to work. Put my gloves on. All right, now you pull the thing right out of the ground like this and you just swoop her down. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do both at the same time, but you just strip it down with your gloves and uh, toss it down. See, it just pops right out. You, you take it down and uh, we're going to smash it up with a rock leader anyway, so it doesn't have to be pretty. All right, grab a whole bunch of those and away we go. Okay, so this is what you do. You take a rock. It's not the most ideal conditions because uh, it never is. But you take the rock and you smash. Notice that I'm putting my bare hands on the sting and I'm not getting stung. It's because I've already run it up with my gloves and most of the little prickly rock anyway. And you're just smashing out the fiber. It pulls apart like this, right? And if you look careful, you'll see you're getting these long, thin fibers. Come over here. I don't know if that you can see that very well, but these fibers, and they're white, um, are very, very strong in concordance of how much they're, um, how big they are. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really strong. Um, anyway, so that's what we're actually using for cordage. That's the thing. If you notice, there's a bit of stock on there too. That's not what we want, but who cares? Anyway, that's it. So when we're done, I'm going to put them in the little white box and pick them up later. And that's it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you what's, uh, what's going on with this. It's, um, uh, this is all fine corn silk-like fibers that have been pulled out of the, um, uh, the one stinging nettle branch, and I've pulled uh, I pulled quite a bit out of the one, and I still have lots to go. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make thread out of it. So here's all the fibers, and uh, my assistant here is just going to hold the camera right like that, and I'll show you how to do it. And you just take it, and remember to do this clockwise, not counterclockwise. Okay. So, and I've done this um, I've done this in this way a long ways, all the fibers, so that it stays strong and long. I've got all the fibers kind of pushed together a bit like the spinning wheel, which we'll use later on. So we're just going to kind of bunch them up and spin them off to get them into a general cord-like shape. Okay, now I'll go over back to the beginning and I actually start spinning it. And if you notice, no one's getting stung because all the stinging part of the sting nettle is already long gone. This is it. We're spinning it into a string now. You can spin it on your leg. You can do a whole number of ideas, right? Now when we get enough of these, about three or four, we spin them together. 
When you spin them together, you spin them together counterclockwise. They spin in one direction as string, clockwise, counterclockwise to put them into rope. That adds strength. Anyway, that's essentially the whole idea. Look at that. So there we got another one. I've got a bit of the stock on here, that's why it's green, not completely white and whatnot. That's not the end of the world. It's still quite strong. Strong stuff. All right, so far, I've got about two feet. Okay, I've been doing this for a little bit, and as you can see, it's been tightening up. And we're just gonna send the spinning wheel on, and I'll show you what I've done by pulling in if you can get my assistant to get closer here, I grab a bit of fiber, but look how tight that is. No, you got to make sure it's going the right direction. And then pull tight, and it's spinning up. Look how sp look how tight and thin that line that that fine line is right there. I mean, that is basically just string cordage, and it's really, really, oops, that's the wrong way. It's really, really super strong. Look at that. And this is when they say you can use this stuff for fishing line. Look how thin it gets. Look down here. You're basically using it as as thinning as fishing line. I'm not sure if you're able to get to see a good picture of that or not. But that is that is this that is really, 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 really strong. Like I thought it was strong before, but look how thin and small and tight that is. Anyway, there you go.